One of the things I like to do after the baseball season is a couple of weeks old to just kind of look and see how are some of the guys playing in the minors who made a really good impression in spring training. And one of the ones was Brad Zimmer. Hit over 380 in Arizona. In fact, when some of the Indians outfitters are struggling early, I got a couple of emails from fans saying, why isn't Brad Zimmer in the minors? He hit 380 in, in spring training. Well, I remember when the Indians sent him down, they said he needed to do some work against left-handed pitching. He needed to cut down on his swings and his strikeouts. So how's Brad Zimmer doing in AAA Columbus? Well, I got my notepad here, and he's hitting 230. He's got two home runs, but here's the most alarming thing, 20 strikeouts in 61 at-bats. In other words, every three times, he's striking out once. That's not a good deal. Now, I like Zimmer. I think he's got a really high uh, potential and upside as a player, but you can see why sometimes they always talk about the mirage of the desert, and that was one there. Uh, good news, Tyler Naquin's hitting 344 down in Columbus. I wondered how he would handle being sent down uh, early in the season because, after all, Naquin had an excellent rookie season, and he's gone down there, and he did what exactly they tell you to do. Keep hitting, 344. Uh, Yanni Diaz just went down over the weekend. He's two for eight. A couple of things on the pitching front. Mike Clevenger is two and one with an 0.76 ERA. Uh, now here's another one. These guys pitched great in spring training. I was excited to see how I do. Adam Plutko, the man who should be Pluto, but he has a K in his name. Adam Plutko probably has an ERA, but like if I were to try to pitch at Benedictine, he's 0 and two with an 11.91 ERA. Now all these things are early, early stats, but again, it's kind of fun to look at. Now, sometimes this goes under the heading of maybe they'll be very glad they never made this trade. If you remember back in spring training, you heard about Francisco Mejia. He was the kid who had the 50-game hitting streak. He was a guy last year that he was 7 for 19 in spring training. Sandy Almar raved about him. He's hitting 356 at Class AA Akron. He was in that trade last summer for Jonathan Lucroy, the catcher who is coming here from Milwaukee. And Lucroy vetoed the trade. Mejia was one of four prospects in that trade. And that wasn't when he was in the process of having that 50-game hitting streak last year. Well, you know, Lucroy is going to be a free agent at the end of the year in Texas. You know, he may leave, may not. But he wasn't going to stay here. The Indians may be glad that trade fell apart because Mejia is a player, and he's showing it again. And so that's one of those things. By the way, Lucroy right now, he did have a good year after the trade, but he's only hitting 184 for Texas. So sometimes, you know, I really hope this is true because the Indians catchers right are struggling, whether it's Jan Gomes or Bertel Perez. Uh, we could be seeing Francisco Mejia as soon as 2018.